France is a country that has made mountain biking its own. It's produced more world champions than any other. And the man I'm meeting today has been quite a big part of that. In a career that has lasted nearly 20 years, five times has seen him take the gold medal at those world championships. He's been seven times the overall World Cup winner and twice an Olympic champion. He's aptly known as Mr. Mountain Bike and it's hard to imagine ever seeing another career that will rival that of Julian Absalom. Our elite winner of the day, Julian Absalom! I'm on my way to Julian's house. I feel very privileged to be allowed into his life for a couple of days. He's a bit of an enigma to me. He doesn't need publicity. His successes speak for themselves. I want to try and find out what drives him, and I want to talk about that passion he has for mountain biking. This is going to be an eye-opening couple of days. Bonjour, Julian. Hello, Rob. How are you? Good, and you? Nice to see you. Come in. You've got a lovely house. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice part of the world. Hello, what's the dog called? This is Rio. Oh, Rio. You are a mm, beautiful dog, eh? I like you. <laughs> yeah, luckily. Come in. <laughs> on the seat, you want a coffee? I'll have a coffee. Oh, yeah, what a pad, man. Lovely, isn't it? How did you get into mountain biking? When did it actually start? I started at 14 years old, so it's not really young. Your mum and dad, are they cyclists? Not at all, not cyclists at all. My father was doing some sport when he was young. I started to ski at three years old because I was living in Levos, you know, east of France. And I did also judo. I tried to, to play football three times. <laughs> no, basketball maybe three months. Really? Kayak, six months. <laughs> Uh, volleyball, six months. I start a uh, mountain bike by chance. The first world championship you won as a junior was in 1998. Yes. In Monsignan. Mm -hmm. You came up through the ranks, though. So you had two under 23 world championships as well. I mean, you've won everything. Of all those wins, I'd imagine that Le Bresse in France, almost in your hometown, in, a, in the Lavoges region, surely those two wins you had there must be special. Really special. It was crazy to win at home. All my family, my friends were present uh, yeah. to support me, so it was a lot of pressure, but... Uh, thousands was, of fans. It was crazy to win in front of, of them. As a person, you're very calm and collected, but on a mountain bike in a World Cup race, you are ruthless. For you... sure. I, I have two personalities. Yeah. The real Julian Epson and on the bike in competition, I'm really different. We've got to talk about Nino Scherter. I mean, has Nino been your greatest competitor? On the bike, we are enemies, but out of the bike, we are friends. I had so many fights and so many duels between Nino and me. He pushed me really to the limits. Yeah. Let's have a look at these Olympic medals because. They're just breathtaking. You're the only mountain biker to win two Olympic golds. How do you feel when you look at it? This medal is like a surprise. I was not the main favorite of the race. And this one is like a consecration. After the race, I go, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Julia, <laughs> Apple! Well, that was amazing to see all that history there in his hands. And how humble is he? How humble is Julian Absalom? Not a hint of arrogance about him. He just likes winning mountain bike races. <laughs> He's pretty good at it. We're going to the gym now where we're going to meet his trainer. It's going to be interesting to see just how he tackles the other side of his training. Hi. Hello, you Hello. must be Cedric. How are you? Are <laughs> uh, you all right? Yes. So you take care of Julian in the gym? Yes. 
back in the day, because your career's gone on for so long, you didn't come to the gym. Like you were what I would have called more of a traditional cross country rider. You just pedaled every day. Yes, for sure. I prefer to be on the bike. But now I, I like it because we do some fun exercise. Fun. <laughs> is it fun? Let's see you go. Don't let us interrupt you. Wouldn't want to stand in the way of you getting any fitter for this season. OK, let's go. Man, the training has changed so much. Well, obviously Julian won't stop training even for a second, but I've grabbed you. Did you know that Julian was a twice Olympic champion when he came here to start working with you? Moi, quand je l'ai vu démarrer, j'étais euh, plus jeune. Du coup, quand il m'a contacté, euh, j'ai tout de suite euh, sauté sur l'occasion pour pouvoir euh, travailler ensemble. Quand je regardais le vélo, dans ma préparation, c'est vrai que euh, Julien, pour moi, c'était un idole mon idole et du coup maintenant de travailler avec lui ben ça me permet vraiment aussi pour moi de grandir puis c'est j'ai la chance de travailler avec une véritable machine donc je suis un peu le mécano de cette machine là oh no why so maybe now we can try to play with this try to to go in on the balloon hang on i'm up yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. My balance ain't bad. It's my fitness that lets me down. Oh, yeah. I've got this. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite hard work. <laughs> Even I've worked up a bit of a sweat. That's you. Finish. Well, it was really interesting to see Julian working in the gym with Cedric. It was pretty intense, so intense I didn't really feel like disturbing him. But tonight, we are finally going to relax. I'm going for dinner with Julian Absalom on this beautiful beachfront. This is a nice spot, eh? I bet you come down here and lay on the beach sometimes, huh? No? Never? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Especially in summer, we do early for training when it's not too hot. Yeah. So after we have time to recover the beach. I read last year that you'd said you would retire, like, at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. I don't know, did you say that? I read it somewhere, you know, you said... It was planned for me to stop after the Olympics. It was. I have the motivation, so I decided to continue. And also because the an Olympic season, it's always hard. Yeah. You always have more pressure. I, I want to do one more year to enjoy it. Will this be your last year of racing then? Is that what you're saying? Yes. That'd be a shame. It's not going to be the same without you, that's for sure. Merci. I heard that cross country riders only eat salads. Look at that. That's a lot of food there. It's fresh from the sea. Yeah. That's not yours as well. Yes. It was first, uh, this, and after this. No way. Look at that. I thought I was going to make you jealous with the pizza, but that looks pretty good. How important is diet to you? I don't need, in fact, to do a um, special diet before the races because I'm, al I'm always like this. I always eat a lot. But good. But good. Yeah. What's it like, Julian, going into then what's going to be your last World Cup season, is it? I feel a bit sad that I'm not like, this is the end of it. You know what I mean? It's No, but it's, it's, yeah, it's special, you know, and uh, maybe it would be my last time here. So I need to enjoy it, and I need to, I need to do my best for yeah. the last time. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. How are you? Good. Good and you? All the better for being here. This is the French Riviera, right? Exactly. You can see over there the Bay of Saint-Tropez, the Bay of uh, Fréjus-Saint-Raphaël. 
But this is where you come and do training. Yes, this cross country loop uh, are specially built for Olympic preparation. The French team uh, did the preparation for Rio here. That's incredible. Let's go. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Like the rocks in Rio, look at that. Nice. Oh good, an uphill hard section. You're killing me. Oh. What a track, it's so fun and flowing. That was fun. That was fun. Really nice. Yeah, it's lovely here, isn't it? It's been an absolute pleasure for you to let us into your life a little bit, see where you live, see this amazing facility, see how you go day to day to keep yourself right at the top of the sport. We're going into your 18th World Cup season now. Is the passion still there for you? You've done everything. The passion is my main motivation, and also I like to win. And You're incredibly to... competitive, I think. Uh, yes, maybe. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a brilliant couple of days. Thanks a lot, Julia. Thank you to visit me. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. And um, doesn't look too bad. No, it's easy to do. God, it's good. I never thought. Open. Open. <laughs> <laughs>